every quartet that has ever come along has recorded this song right here. And it's been a lifetime favorite of mine. I've been singing it since I was a little bitty boy. And uh, that hadn't been too far ago. Yeah. I remember, boy, when I was 18 years old. Hey, listen, come up here just one minute. Let me just let me just talk to you just one minute, and we're gonna sing one more song and we'll be done. But but this young fellow right here, I, I, just, I just need to tell you about my grandboy. Okay, he he right here is first of all he's uh, he's a born again Christian. That's first. Of all. Second of all, he's a left handed baseball pitcher, and that's what I went to college on. Uh, on my scholarship, left-handed. And boy, I'm telling you what, we just working like everything. This boy's got to make it. I mean, you have. And he, but he's a well-rounded, he's a well-rounded guy because uh, not only does he, he play baseball, but he has been dual enrolled in college since he was in the ninth grade. And this year, in his senior year, he just been, he has just been named star student. And he's going on to be the valedictorian of the class. So I was not only good looking, I was smart too. He got every bit of it from me. Yeah. Oh, but, but, but then even better, the Lord paved the way. Because in our neighborhood, we got two schools down there. And one of them's a little small technical school down in Atlanta. How you doing, Reggie? And, <laughs> but the other one's a big old college. And if you look, you'll see him tomorrow night, okay? <laughs> and this year, in his senior year, he is dual enrolled. He is going on campus to the University of Georgia. And boy, <laughs> and even better, I don't sing like a girl. <laughs> oh, Lord. He did. I'm going to tell you what. Uh, yes, he did. You may be 18. And you may be a lot younger than me, but you remember I'm old, but I ain't dead. <laughs> I'm still spanky, big boy. You know, what I want you to do very seriously, and, and, and I want you to tell the people, just give a word of testimony, son, because you not only impressed me in so many ways, but you impressed me Amen. because I know you live. What you sing about, I know you live your life. Amen. Every day. Tell just a few moments about what the Lord's done for you. Well, I'll tell you what I told the church this morning. We don't come here to put on a show. We come here to share the gospel of Jesus Christ with you this morning. And that I don't believe this is a stage. I believe this is an altar. And when I put my life on this altar, I'm not going to do bad for the Lord. I'm not going to make his name look bad. So I come to tell you about Jesus, Amen. and that's my heart. And uh, he put something on my heart earlier about cast my bread. And the Bible says, seeking you will find, asking you will receive. Uh, and I don't know what you're going through here tonight, but you may be praying for something and the Lord's not giving it to you. You may be praying, and in that song, cast my bread, it's about giving. It's about giving, having a giving heart. Amen. Yeah. And, Maybe you're asking, but the Lord's saying, I'm not giving to you because you're not giving to me. Maybe you're not giving. Maybe you need to be in this altar tonight because you need to be giving. I don't know what that looks like for you. I don't know if that looks like finances or time or just reading your Bible every day. I don't know, praying. Touch him, Lord. Being with the Lord. But you got to ask, you got to give. I just pray that for you all tonight. So. Well, you know what? You set it up. You, you took me straight out of what I was going to do. Have we sung Cast My Bread tonight yet? We did. We did already. Well, did oh, we? you're asking me. You didn't take me out so bad, did you? Thank, thank you, buddy. Thank you. I love you to death. I love you to death. Let's, I'm going to do this song here. I just, you know, when, when, I, when I was uh, in the ER on the first night and I was thinking about singing, and when they told me, he said, uh, you know, you may never sing again. Then uh, I asked the Lord. I said, there's one song that's been on my heart. And, and as I, I get older, this gets dearer. 